ha ha what's up everybody welcome back to another video and this is Rammstein no it says uh, 10 iconic Rammstein riffs but without distortion so basically it's gonna be a clean guitar riff roll the intro So, if you're new to this channel and you like the content that you're about to hear, hit the like button, subscribe button, and it lets me know that you want to hear more videos like this and more content around this video so we can produce more videos with this uh, content. So, uh, let's go, baby. Rammstein are known for their very fiery like shows and their bombastic sound. But what if we turn off the distortion of the electric guitars? Will they still sound that majestic and beefy? Or will you find yourself listening to some very calming surf rock? Let's find it out. I have prepared 10 iconic Rammstein riffs for you, but with clean guitars. And let me know in the I'm going to say if you listen to most metal songs and you hear them in a clean vocal, like a clean guitar or you have it with a clean vocal, you're going to definitely have a more soft rock kind of vibe. It could be Metallica, Pantera, whatever. The riffs are going to sound less aggressive and less in your face. That does have more of a softer rock kind of vibe, more grungy to it. Because you still have that eerie kind of vibe going in the back with uh, that keyboard. So that's giving you that eerie vibe. That kind of has more of like a poppy sound to it, I guess. That w To me, if you were just playing that on your guitar, I would think you're just messing around. I would not think that's a Rammstein track. Some of the riffs that she's playing does still have that punch, that 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 aggressiveness. You can hear it in the riff. The way it's played is still having that aggressive uh, feel to it. That actually has more like a funky feel to it. A very funky flair to the track.
this song has like a vibe to it. Like when everybody hears it, it has a typical Rammstein vibe. I still think um, it still does give you that like rocker edge vibe to it. Kind of maybe like a Nirvana kind of sound maybe. But like I said, certain riffs can still pack a punch without distortion. Some of them don't even sound extremely heavy or metal. But some of the riffs that she has picked, some of them sound funky. Some of them still have that edge to it. And this song, uh, Du Hast, still has a uh, punch to it. Hey everyone, let me know in the comments below how you enjoyed my new riff list. I want to say thank you so much for the lovely support on Patreon. You guys are simply so, so amazing. If you like, you can check out my other videos here. These are the 10 most iconic uh, uh, riffs. And uh, it says, never thought, I would ne never thought I needed to hear these songs without distortion, but I'm happy I have. Different, it says, uh... Definitely, it says, uh, different, but still great riffs. You play them so well. And to be honest, they were played very well. Because one thing is, when I heard Metallica do a cover of Rammstein, it was terrible. It was very, very terrible. But reading through the comments, it seems like people liked it and people enjoyed the riffs for what they were. And they did have more, like like this guy said, it says, uh, it says there, without distortion, has a country rock, 70s classic rock, and even 90s grunge. I did get the feel of the uh, 90s grunge. I definitely felt that uh, 90s grunge and the uh, early 90s kind of vibe going through the uh, riffs. But uh, with that being said, guys, that was um, uh, her name's JJ's One Girl Band. And you guys could uh, check her out on YouTube. She makes videos all the time. But at the end of the day, yeah, it did have that more grungy kind of style going through the riffs. So as always, it's your boy Trevor back with another video, baby. Let's get it going. <laughs>